again, can you tell me a little bit about like who you are as a healing therapist and how your journey began? Well, thanks for being here with me. It's quite exciting, actually. <laughs> a lot of questions in one. I think my journey began probably way before I entered this body, this life. But from what I can remember, <laughs> when I was little, I wanted to be a nun. I remember having the flute in front of me and dressing up like a nun. They wanted me. Well, that didn't quite work out. So, um, uh, I, yeah. But thinking back, really, that was I think that was the there was a feeling I felt connected when I played with that flute and had the Bible in front of me. Um, and everything afterwards was really I started always being involved with lots of people. Was always a people mm -hmm. person be always very active at school and just being a school representative and uh, I really loved going to school just because of that. My marks were crap but you know that was that was fun. And then one thing led to another. It was really important for me to move to London from, from, from Germany. I think I had to be really far away from my from the belief set and the culture that um, that I that I was raised mm -hmm. in. And here I felt the freedom to really become who I am now and um, all those healing modalities that I studied along the way I think just helped me really to be, to be who I am. And what do you practice at the moment? Because I know, for example, you're a Reiki master, but I believe that you also work in other areas with healing. At the moment, to be honest, I mainly do hypnotherapy and theta healing. Mm -hmm. Most of the times I even combine the two. And um, once I have the time and space again, I will also want to run some mm -hmm. meditation classes again. But that seems to, my life seems to focus around that now. Okay. So, yeah, following on from what you said about theta being the main kind of tool that you're working with mm -hmm. at the moment, how did you come across it? Like, when did you first find so out I about th it? I thought about this this morning, actually, when I, I knew you would come. Um, and I think it was when I did an advanced magnified healing course mm -hmm. where my we, we kind of went off subject and the the, the teacher who was, who was training us went she was a theatre practitioner at the time and we we talked about crystals or stones and having their permission or not in healing settings mm -hmm. and we all were kind of discussing do we need to do do, do we do need to ask a permission for a stone or can just discussing really how crystals can be involved in healing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, after a long talk, the, the teacher at the time said, oh, let me go into theta and ask God. And I was like, yeah, right, you can ask God, fun. And uh, she did, she went into yeah. theta. And she had a, what was the answer? She, she, I think the answer that she got was that every crystal is different and that we had to ask the individual crystal. Mm -hmm. And I was like, of course. Why didn't we think of that? And I was so impressed by that. It, it so resonated mm -hmm. with me. Also, it was quick. It was. It felt really true to me, the answer. And um, she always sneaked in little theta moments during the whole process. And oh. it, it totally resonated with me. And I just thought, like, well, this is what mm -hmm. I really have to do. And I booked myself into a course a couple of months later. Oh, wow. So that's a very interesting introduction <laughs> to theta. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so, you know, in a nutshell, if I can mm. say that, like, can you, what, what is theta healing? But very briefly, because I know we're going to be talking for a few areas of theta. Yeah, and also, I mean, there's so many videos out there on theta healing now. I'd say really the best is if someone's really interested in what, what it is to, to look it up on, on the net. But I would say, in a nutshell, it is um, working with beliefs and feelings. And let, I think what I'd rather like to do, if that's okay, is what, what fascinates me about this. Okay, yeah. yeah. Maybe that's, that's a better mm -hmm. way of putting it. Um, well, as you know, I'm German, so I like things very, um, very clear, very efficient, and quick, direct. <laughs> I like the direct way. <laughs> and um, theta healing is just that, because we don't work with a drama around a certain situation or problem or challenge in the life. We actually want to come right to the core, to the bottom belief, to the real bottom reason on why, mm -hmm. why things are the way they are. And to do that we use a m method of muscle testing, which um, can be seen in the demonstration video that we, that we have. And um, that gives us pretty precise answers to a belief system, a set of beliefs mm -hmm. inside a person, or whether certain emotions or not are present. Once we've identified what, what that is, 
we as practitioners go into a theta brainwave state, which is, um, oh gosh, I'm not so good with the numbers, Brynja. Well, it's a, it's a certain wave cycle in the, in, in the mind, which is the kind of hypnotic trance dream state, which enables us to um, access God, creator, source, quantum energy, mm -hmm. field energy, that energy where everything is possible, infinity really. Yeah. And from that field, we command change to happen take certain beliefs out, bring new ones in, or if a person has forgotten what something feels like, mm -hmm. you can also bring feelings into into the body. And yeah. so I've heard about that, that feeling works quite a point. Absolutely, so what, yes. What's that mean? What is the feeling work? Well, in theta? it's 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 actually really well it is as important as the beliefs but let's say very simply you haven't got a definition inside of you of, of love for example mm -hmm. well we can we call it download you the information on love but if your body has forgotten what love mm -hmm. feels like then even if you know it yeah. you still need the feeling to mm -hmm. live it mm -hmm. and here we then we can muscle test for example, I know what love feels like, yeah. and depending on what comes out, you can then download love into mm. as a feeling into in, into that your being. That sounds beautiful. Uh, <laughs> totally, and it's really efficient. Yeah. Um, and the other real important thing with theta healing, opposed to many other healings that I've been trained mm -hmm. in, is that we focus a lot on witnessing it. So we actually watch and witness while healing takes place. Um, and uh, which makes it a little bit stronger than just the intent. Because mm -hmm. in most healing situations, you come with an intent and you want to change that. Mm -hmm. But the intent is not strong enough for change. Like for you to, the intent to pick up a key doesn't make you really pick up the key. You actually have to do it and witness yourself holding the key mm -hmm. in your hand. And so the, the scene of the change of the healing is 